Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a look for New Year's Eve. Just this gold smoky eye with a bright red lip. Just something much more bold and fun for New Year's. So if you want to see how to achieve this look, go ahead and keep watching. Um, my eyelids here before I do my eyeshadow. And I've just been rubbing that in with my finger. So next I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. I'm going to be using a few of the different shades in there, but first I'm going to start out with this shade here just in Unity, and I'm going to put that all over my lids. Next I'm going to go in with this shade um, called Lore and use that as a transition shade and just put it in like my outer crease and right in my outer corner and I am going to spread that out just right here towards like the middle as well So now that I have that eyeshadow done um, for the transition shade, I am going to go in with the black color here. It's called Obsidian. And I'm going to use that just to create that smoky eye look right here in the corner there. So I'm going to go in with that shade and just start lightly tapping it in and just working my way through the crease and up a little bit to create that look there. just to go in with because this is a more of a fluffy brush here so going in with something a little bit flatter um, and just mm -hmm. trying to blend that out a little bit So now that that black is done for now, now I'm going to use um, some of the Tarte Shape Tape just to create a, carve out this inner part of the eye right there. This is in the shade Light Medium Honey. And I don't use the wand of the concealer for this part just because it seems like it'll get everywhere otherwise, so I just take a little brush and put a tiny bit on it and just slowly start putting it where I want it to be and blending it up and out. So now that I have that done, I'm going to go back into the same palette and go into the shade Pyramid. And I'm going to take my brush and just kind of pat it right over the top here. So I start by patting and then I kind of blend it out a little bit once I get a good amount of product on to create that color that I'm looking for. So now that that's done, I am going to go back into the shade Lure, the one that I used for the transition shade, and just take a tiny bit of it and kind of blend everything out right here. Okay, and then I am going to go back into the black, the obsidian color as well. Go right into the corner, really darken that up a little bit more, 
and start bringing that to that gold shade just so that it transitions and blends in a lot better. And then I am going to go in with this brush with a little bit of the lore just to really start blending it in even a little bit more and kind of blend that gold and that black together. And again, the lore is just a really good transition shade already. It's already part of the look so you can blend it a lot easier. Alright, so that's where I'm at so far with the eyes. Now I am going to darken up the black just a little bit more just because I feel like it'll look a little bit better if it's a little darker. Just in that corner there. And then I'm going to use that brush with Laura on it again just to blend it out into that transition one more time. I am going to go um, underneath the eyes and just put a little bit of eyeshadow underneath as well. So for this, I'm also going to go back in with Lore. Okay, so now that the eyeshadow is done, I am going to go in and do a winged eye. So I am using the e.l.f. Um, liquid eyeliner in black. It, the label's all worn off, so I can't really show you that very easily. Um, but it's just in jet black. And then create that wing. isn't filled in all the way I just have a hard time filling it in with this liquid eyeliner so what I do is I go in with the Kat Von D ink liner in the shade Trooper and just keep filling it in from there Now that I have the wing done, I am going to go in and do some color correcting right underneath my eyes because I get really bad dark circles underneath my eyes and then some redness right around my nose as well. So I'm going to go in with the Belle Pierre Pro Concealer Palette and this just has three different color correcting shades so I'm going to use the orange and the green shade. So I'll start off with the orange shade, and that one I just put right underneath my eyes. You don't really want too much of the product because you don't want to make your face like orangey or reddy, red because you put way too much of the product. And then I'm going to go in um, with the green and put that right around my nose. I just pat it in with my finger a little bit, just so that when I do put on my foundation and my concealer, it blends really, really easily, and I don't have those obvious colors underneath. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Hangover um, Face Primer before I put on my foundation. So I just use one pump of it and then just rub that into like my T-zone area right on my nose, under my forehead a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna let that set for a second. Um, for my foundation, I am gonna be using the Fenty Beauty foundation. This is in the shade 210. So it's a little bit of a lighter shade than I thought I would be actually, but it matches my skin really, really well, probably because I have no tan right now. So I'll probably have to go back and get a darker shade later on. And then I'm going to just use my Beauty Blender to apply this foundation and just 
start putting it right on and blending it out as I go. This foundation does oxidize a little bit as well so when I first grabbed this I thought I was gonna be too light of a shade but then it turned out once it dried up a little bit more it was a the right shade that I needed so if you're going to get this foundation I would be careful of that just so you make sure you don't get one that's your perfect shade now but then once it dries down it turns out to be too dark of a shade for you So now I'm going to go back in with that same concealer by Shape Tape. And this is, you don't need a lot of product for this, I realize, just because a little bit does go a long way. So I'm going to go right underneath my eyes, do a little bit on my chin. I do like to line my cupid's bow as well just so I have a little bit more of a defined lip when I put on my lipstick. And then right down the middle of my nose. And then right here on my forehead as well. And then just go back in with that beauty blender and blend it all out. Okay, so next I'm going to just do a little bit of contouring and I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit. This is in the shade Medium. And I'm going to go in with this lighter shade color right here. This is, just take a little bit of that product and put it right there underneath my cheekbones. And then I am going to just blend that out. So I'm gonna use this brush right here. It just seems to work really well to blend that. smaller brush of the same just to blend out my nose contour. I don't think that's exactly what this brush is for but it works really well for me so I thought I might as well use it for what it works for for me. And I am going to blend this out a little bit. I'm gonna go in with some loose face powder as well. This is by Airspun. Just to, and I'm gonna put it right along my jawline here, right underneath where I just did the contour. And then I am gonna put a little bit underneath my eyes right here too, just to set that under eye. For that, I am gonna go in with um, my Hula, Hula Bronzer by Benefit and just bronze uh, my cheekbones right along the edge of my face as well. So I just use a big fluffy brush for that. So I 
have a much more tan look that I don't have during the winter time typically, so it's really nice to have. Okay, and while I'm in, I'm gonna let this sit a little bit longer and I'm going to put on my eyelashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I put on my eyelashes. I also put on some mascara and I did use a black eyeliner just to line my waterline on the top and the bottom. Just because with this smoky look, I feel like it makes it look a little bit better. So now I'm going to dust off the remainder of this face powder that I have. Just with a big fleshy brush here. And just kind of blend everything together. <laughs> So I've blended that all away. So the la one of the last things I have to do is to put on the highlight. I love highlighter. I feel like it's my favorite part. Um, I just got the Fenty Beauty in Trophy Wife. Um, I already scratched it up, unfortunately, but it's such a pretty color. And I feel like with this look, it'll just go really well. So I'm going to take a little bit of that product and just start highlighting it right here along my cheekbone. And then typically I do take my damp beauty blender and I just kind of pat it down over the highlight just to kind of blend it in with the skin a little bit more. I mean with this one it's obvious that it's a highlight and makeup that you have going on but especially if you don't use it with a lot of other makeup you can make it look a lot more natural just by doing that. And then for the lip, I am going to go in with a red lip just because it's New Year's, so you might as well go all out. And I'm going to do the ColourPop X I Love Sarahi in the shade um, Ariba. This is such a pretty color. I feel like I had a really hard time finding a nice red until I found this one and a couple others just because reds don't there's different reds that don't look good on every skin tone, but I feel like this is one of them that does, which is really nice. And it's a really good cost. At ColourPop, I think it was like six bucks, so you can't beat that. that done so the last thing is I'm going to use a setting spray just to really set this all in place especially since most people will be going out for New Year's you want it to last all night I'm going to be using the cover effects illuminating setting spray um, now with this one do make sure that you shake up the bottle before you use it because otherwise you'll get chunks of glitter all over your face and that's not the look you usually want to go for so I'm going to shake that up. Alright, and then this is the finished look. So I have just a smoky eye with black and gold. Um, the gold highlight from Trophy Wife and then a red lip as well. Much bolder look, but it's very pretty. Um, and just really good for a night out. So if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'll keep posting videos like this and other tutorials and things like that. And I will talk to you later. Bye.